Hi everyone, this is Emma with Blungo.com, and in this video I'm going to show you how to share files in Zoho WorkDrive. Let's get started. We're going to break down this video into three segments. First, we'll explore the process of sharing files and folders internally and externally from my folders. Next, we'll see the process of sharing files and folders either internally or externally from a team folder. Finally, we'll uncover an interesting feature that enables us to generate a download link for a folder. If you're looking to share a file or folder from My Folders, simply right-click. As you can see, there are two sharing options. It's important to note that one of these options is solely intended for support purposes. When you hover over Share, two options become visible. However, simply clicking on Share opens this window. Here, you can input the email addresses of new members and determine their access levels. If you add individual collaborators, their names will populate in this section, allowing you to modify their access levels and cease sharing whenever necessary. There are two additional sharing options available. The permalink feature, enabling you to specify who can access this folder. And the external share link, where you can designate access levels, set passwords, and configure various other options. After the creation, you will be able to modify its settings or delete the folder at your convenience. A common query from our clients revolves around the possibility of sharing a folder with individuals who don't possess a Zoho account. The answer is a resounding yes. Let me explain with a table detailing the requirements. When sharing with an external users who already have a WorkDrive account, they need to log into their WorkDrive account to access the files or folders. For external users with a Zoho account but no WorkDrive account, they are required to sign into their Zoho account to access the shared files or folders. Now, for individuals without a Zoho account, access to the shared files and folders is possible only after they verify their email address via OTP authentication. Let's see how to share files and folders from a team folder, a process quite similar to sharing from my folders. Just as before, right-click on the file or folder, then click on Share. From here, you can add members, generate an external share link, or use the permalink. The key difference is the visibility of the members belonging to the team folder, allowing a better overview. I also wanted to mention another consideration. To share a file or folder within a team folder, you must be admin or organizer of the team folder. By default, all files and folders within a team folder are automatically shared with all its members. This eliminates the need to share files and folders individually with each member. Additionally, a helpful point to note is that you can also access the sharing options by selecting the file or folder and clicking on here. It's not possible to select more than one file and share them simultaneously. I suggest creating a new folder, placing all the files within it, and then sharing the folder. Navigate to Manage and then Shared Items to view all shared files and folders. You can filter these items by file type and sharing method. Okay, let's close this window. We are going to create a download link. Right-click on the file or folder and select New Download Link. Enter a name for the link. This name will help identify the link in case you need to delete it later. You have the option to set download limits. For example, we are going to set a maximum of five downloads. Once this limit is reached, the link will deactivate. Additionally, you can set an expiration date for the link. Click Create to generate the download link. After creating the link, you can share it or send it via emails. You'll find the download link available in the sharing section. To view or modify the sharing link details, click on Actions and select Change Settings. You can delete the link from there. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please click on the Like button. Also, make sure to check out our online courses linked in the description. We recently launched a Zoho One course where we go over configurations and integrations. Thanks for watching.